Hello, I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Margaret St. Clair short story called The Causes, which was published in 1952 in Mercury Press. Uh, this is an interesting short story because the idea is that this is at the beginning of the Cold War, right? Uh, it's after uh, the H-bomb the has been dropped. Uh, people are building up all these defenses and uh, atom bombs, and it's not a positive time to be living, right? Well, a lot of people are really feeling down. And so this short story takes place in a bar where there are a number of people, each of which who say they know uh, the reason why uh, this bad stuff is happening. Um, and then you'll hear four different stories over the course of this 13-page short story. Each of them take about two or three pages each. Uh, and then we'll find out what happens. So that's it. Four causes according to these people. Now, one of these causes is, is fantasy in nature. One is religious and two are science fiction in nature. So what genre this actually counts as, if any, I'll, I'll, I'll leave to you. Probably science fiction or maybe more speculative fiction. Um, but I'll go ahead and leave it to you. Uh, but there you are. Uh, so, so those are the key. That, that's our, that's the key concept of the causes of the 1952 story uh, by Margaret St. Clair. Now, one of the reasons why we're doing a deep dive into this collection by Margaret St. Clair, which I will link to you below in the comments, is that we're doing a uh, a deep dive into her. I heard I first heard of her because she was somebody uh, who's mentioned in Gary Gygax's appendix and as this key influence for uh, his own. Uh, thoughts and manifestations in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, the creator of Dungeons and Dragons, or, or sorry, co-creator of Dungeons and Dragons, wrote, wrote David Arneson. And so he is, you know, this is a key set of influences on modern day fantasy through Dungeons and Dragons, right? Uh, so I've done a deep, deep dive into Margaret St. Clair, and we're now looking at this collection, uh, the best of Margaret St. Clair, that collects a lot of her works. Uh, she got started writing in 1945. Uh, she wrote a lot of short stories for the pulps. Um, she's, she's, she also then became a novelist, and she, was, she put out a prolific amount of, of stuff. She survived at uh, the end of the pulps. A lot of short story writers uh, during the pulps weren't unable to make the transition to writing professionally, uh, with novels or novellas or plays or comic books uh, and so uh, Margaret St. Clair did was able to make that transition from source stories to other as their main means of uh, getting money to other other forms of methodology like writing books so she was able to make a successful transition uh, that's good on her um, and so now we're doing a deep dive into this collection of short of fantasy um, uh, I, this is how I came across her, but this collection uh, so far has just been all science fiction published chronologically, and this is the second work we've done a review of now, uh, the 1952. And there you are. That is The Causes by Margaret St. Clair. There you go. Have you read it? If so, what did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my thoughts in any way? or shape or form. If so, I would be more than happy to talk with you further about it in the comments below, whatever your opinion is. Or if you want to talk about spoilers, i uh, sure to keep my reviews spoiler free. Um, and then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. Thanks again and have an amazing day.